The Catlin Arctic Survey is a scientific expedition sponsored by Catlin, gathering major data from the Arctic region. In 2011, the survey investigates how the melting Arctic ice cap could well affect the entire globe. It's in this barren, frozen environment that the deep ocean circulation is established. It's probably best if I just show you. The polar seas of our planet drive this large-scale thermohaline circulation and play a crucial role in driving what we call the global conveyor. It carries nutrient, heat and oxygen around the globe, allowing life to flourish in the oceans. In the Arctic Atlantic, surface water travels north, transferring heat picked up in the tropics into the atmosphere and to northerly seas. This means that countries in northwest Europe, such as the UK, Norway and Denmark, experience more temperate climates than expected. The Atlantic water flowing from the tropics is also very salty. It's driven by the warm trade winds, which evaporate fresh water from the surface. As the Atlantic waters approach the Arctic, they cool, and the combination of colder and saltier waters makes the waters dense. As the waters freeze to form sea ice, the ice itself is fresh, and so the salt or the brine is driven out from the ice, making the surface waters even colder and saltier. And the dense water overturns, sinking down into the deep abyssal plains of the North Atlantic. Deep cold water moves south, crossing the equator and into the South Atlantic, eventually upwelling in other parts of the global ocean. And the circulation continues. We call this the global Atlantic conveyor. These processes that occur in the Arctic surface waters are a key driving force for the ocean circulation for the entire planet. The Catlin Arctic Survey 2011 will look at the changes now taking place in the region to help better provide an understanding of how fragile the balance is in maintaining the deep sea thermohaline circulation. Climate change is contributing to the freshening and warming of the Arctic Ocean waters and creating less ice formation. This may well interrupt the driving mechanisms of deep Atlantic circulation and even stop the pull of warm tropical waters past Northwest Europe. If the Atlantic thermohaline circulation stops, the potential impact on the Earth and its ecosystems could be disastrous. This is what's particularly worrying for the US. Their projections show New York could experience a significant rise in sea level over the next 10 years. In addition to rising sea level, reducing the strength of the Atlantic thermohaline circulation may cause more heat to be retained in the subtropical West Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico. This may produce a dramatic increase in the frequency and intensity of rainfall, tropical storms, hurricanes, and tornadoes. The combination of effects is likely to produce extensive flooding, coastal erosion, and damage to major infrastructure, including crops, homes, industrial sites, and cities throughout the eastern U.S.